after all of this uh, sort of standard stuff on adoption and, and usability and stuff, there's a new layer of concerns that people have about privacy and trust. Uh, we, we get this in our data a lot now. And, and the, there, was, there were urgent conversations in, in this town, uh, in the pre-Snowden era, they've just ramped up since Snowden, in part because in the public imagination, the Snowden revelations in, in June of, actually, yeah, June of 2013, were close on followed by the revelations about the target breach and then all of the other uh, commercial uh, retail breaches that occurred, and people are just kind of, uh, you know, freaking out about that. They're, they are concerned, they are anxious, it shows up in a lot of ways in our data. They don't, they don't necessarily trust their, um, their providers to, to secure their information. They don't necessarily think their information is, is out of the um, uh, prying eyes of the government. They are concerned about what happens to their information after someone collects it. They don't know the third parties that get it. They don't know how profiles are made and stuff like that. There are a lot more people that are aware that their credit score is used in a whole host of ways to judge them and to assess them as economic and commercial actors, and they now think that there are all sorts of numbers that are attached to them in some way, shape, or form, but they don't know, they wouldn't even know how to begin to unpack that or figure out what that meant or who had the data and was judging them. So we asked a question about, um, oops, am I talking too long? No, it's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so we asked people if they'd adjusted their uh, behaviors online since the Snowden revelations, and this is what we got. About 25% have changed at least one of these behaviors uh, uh, in the way they use email, search engine, uh, and social media uh, in the wake of, of, of things.